today I'm going to be installing this battery kill switch on my boat. Uh, the problem I've been having is apparently it has, there's a really slow drain on my battery somewhere. Uh, it'll do fine for a couple of days, but if I let it set up for a little more than a week or so, I come back and the battery's completely dead. Uh, so rather than trying to track this problem down, I'm going to kind of take the easier route and just uh, hook up this battery kill switch. So when the, when the switch is right here, the battery's completely disconnected, flip it to one, and that's where I'm going to have my battery connected to. This will actually hold two batteries if you want to add a battery, you know, as a backup as well. Uh, this was about $40. Uh, I think I got it on Amazon. I've seen them at Academy and stuff. So um, the other items that I had to purchase was an extra cable. This will attach to the kill switch under here and then um, to the battery okay uh, and then I got these four uh, two inch stainless steel screws to attach it to the deck it's a pontoon boat so um, anyway basically uh, let's see here this is the number one position right here I'm gonna attach that cable and get that done. Battery cable attached here to the number one position. This is what will go to the boat uh, as far as the to the starter and other accessories. And then this position uh, would be if you decided you wanted to uh, hook up a second battery. So the rest of this we will wrap it up on the boat. Oh, it was a, uh, a 9 16th wrench that I attached it with. See you on the boat. Okay. So now I'm on the boat. I've got the battery completely disconnected and basically all we're going to do is I've already got my cable hooked up here we're going to take the three wires that feed the boat this one goes to my water pump which I'm going to have an upcoming video on how to install one of those and then these are my main cables here they are going to connect to this point right here then I'm going to screw this down somewhere and hook up the ground and we should be good to go. Let's see what happens. So I've made my connections here. This is what's going to feed the boat. And I don't even know where all these wires go. This red wire goes to a pump over here that we're going to get into later. Um, the only thing I could say here is just make sure your wires don't cover your screw hole here where you're going to bolt it down. And you should be good to go. So I'm going to get this thing bolted into the floor. And then we'll see how it works. We have the switch hooked up now. I've got it bolted down with two screws. I'm going to put the other two in. Uh, I definitely recommend if you're going into a wood deck. You know, pilot the screw holes before you put the screw in. And then this connects to my battery. Once I finish, I will connect my ground, and then we will see how this works. All right, let's get this finished. Okay, so here's the test. Battery is off right now. Turn the key on. Nothing. We have power. Awesome. I would say this is a success. So I would definitely recommend it. This was the Perco um, 8501. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this and want to see more subscribe i'm going to be uh, showing you how to hook up a wash up pump or a wash out pump here in a, a a week or so thanks for watching bye